In the brilliant blue tapestry of a coral reef, one fish glides by like a living jewel, shimmering with the full spectrum of a rainbow, yet armored with teeth strong enough to grind stone to sand. It may seem like an ornamental oddity, but this fish plays one of the most critical roles in shaping and preserving the very ecosystem it calls home. This is the parrotfish, part sculptor, part janitor, part engineer. And though its appearance is enchanting, its biology tells a much deeper story. One that stretches from a coral rubble on the ocean floor all the way to cutting edge biomaterials and human technology. This is the hidden life of one of the ocean's most overlooked architects. Parrotfish are members of the family Scaridae that include more than 90 known species distributed throughout tropical and subtropical oceans. From the Caribbean to the Indo-Pacific, these fish are instantly recognizable due to their vibrant colors, beak-like jaws, and the peculiar sound of crunching coral that often echoes as they feed. What many people don't realize, however, is that this feeding behavior is not simply destructive. It is the foundation upon which much of tropical marine life depends. These fish possess highly specialized teeth that are fused together to form a hardened parrot-like beak, which they use to scrape algae and cyanobacteria off coral surfaces. In doing so, they incidentally ingest chunks of calcium carbonate, the stony material that forms the coral skeleton. While this may seem counterintuitive, this feeding is actually beneficial to reef health as it clears space for new coral polyps to settle and grow, preventing algal overgrowth that can otherwise smother reef systems. But what happens to all the coral skeleton ingested by parrotfish? The answer is surprisingly poetic. Inside their throats lies a second set of powerful jaws called pharyngeal teeth, which are used to crush the coral into fine particles. These particles pass through the digestive system where the organic material is extracted and the remaining sediment is excreted as fine white sand. A single large parrotfish can produce up to 300 kilograms of sand per year. That means entire island beaches in regions such as the Maldives, Seychelles and Hawaii are essentially the byproduct of parrotfish digestion. This sand production doesn't just contribute to the beauty of tropical coastlines, it also provides the structural substrate necessary for seagrasses, mangroves, and other organisms critical to coastal resilience. While the ecological impact of parrotfish is impressive, the biology of their teeth has attracted the attention of engineers and material scientists. Parrotfish teeth are made of fluorapatite, a crystalline mineral that is harder than human enamel and nearly as durable as steel. Studies from the University of California and the University of Wisconsin have shown that the microscopic structure of parrotfish teeth includes tightly packed nanocrystals aligned in a way that resists both abrasion and fracture. These findings have inspired new research into biomimetic materials, man-made substances that mimic biological structures, Potential applications range from abrasion-resistant coatings and surgical tools to self-sharpening industrial blades and even dental implants. In essence, the parrotfish has become a blueprint for materials that must endure repetitive mechanical stress, offering sustainable solutions based on evolutionary design perfected over millions of years. If their bite is impressive, so too is their capacity for transformation. Parrotfish are sequential hermaphrodites, meaning many species begin life as females, and depending on social structure and hierarchy, they can later change into males, a biological adaptation known as protogenous sex change. In species such as the stoplight parrotfish, there are typically three gender presentations initial phase females, initial phase males, and terminal phase males. The terminal phase male is larger, more vibrantly colored, and becomes the dominant individual within a territory. 
If he dies or disappears, the largest female in the group will undergo a complete biological transformation, restructuring reproductive organs, changing hormone profiles, and shifting color patterns in order to take his place. This adaptive strategy ensures that reproductive opportunities are never wasted, even in small or fluctuating populations. The intense coloration of parrotfish isn't static. Instead, these hues are dynamic and often reflect an individual's sex, age, mood, and even social rank. Their skin contains specialized pigment cells, or chromatophores, which can expand or contract in response to hormonal signals or environmental stimuli. During the day, terminal phase males often display bold patterns and iridescent flashes, especially during territorial disputes or mating displays. However, at night, these same fish can dull their colors dramatically, shifting to pale browns or grays to blend in with the reef as they rest. This ability to change coloration rapidly serves multiple functions and is regulated by complex neuroendocrine feedback loops that scientists are still working to fully understand. Among the strangest and most captivating behaviors exhibited by parrotfish is their nightly ritual of spinning a mucus cocoon. As daylight fades and predatory risk increases, Certain parrotfish species begin to secrete a clear, gelatinous envelope from glands near the gills. Over the course of several minutes, this mucus builds into a protective cocoon that entirely surrounds the fish, forming a sort of translucent sleeping bag. But this isn't just a quirky bedtime routine. Research suggests that this cocoon serves multiple protective functions. First and foremost, it acts as a chemical shield cloaking the fish's scent from predators like moray eels, which hunt primarily through olfactory cues. The mucus also appears to function as a sensory barrier, allowing the fish to detect vibrations or breaches in the cocoon before an actual attack occurs. Furthermore, studies from the University of Queensland have suggested that the mucus may contain antimicrobial agents that help protect the fish from external parasites and skin infections during vulnerable nighttime hours. This behavior is not only rare among fish, but also uniquely elegant in its evolutionary intent. By crafting their own protective microenvironment every single night, parrotfish demonstrate a level of behavioral sophistication that few marine animals can match. Parrotfish are often referred to as reef gardeners, and for good reason. Their constant grazing prevents the overgrowth of algae on coral surfaces, thereby ensuring that coral larvae have space to settle and grow. In doing so, they perform a service that no other reef species can replicate. Without parrotfish, algae would dominate reef environments, turning once thriving coral ecosystems into underwater deserts devoid of biodiversity. In this way, parrotfish act as a keystone species whose presence determines the overall health of the ecosystem. They also contribute to the physical restructuring of reefs through bioerosion, helping shape reef morphology and open up crevices for small marine creatures. Despite their importance, parrotfish are under increasing threat. In many regions, they are heavily targeted by spearfishing and netting especially the larger dominant males, who play essential roles in reproduction and territorial control. In overfished reefs, the absence of parrotfish correlates strongly with algal blooms, coral mortality, and decreased resilience to bleaching events caused by warming seas. Efforts to protect parrotfish have begun to gain momentum. Countries such as Belize, the Maldives, and Bonaire have implemented legal protections against harvesting them, recognizing their central ecological role. Some marine protected areas are even designed specifically to preserve parrotfish populations, serving as sanctuaries where coral reefs can thrive through their ongoing biological stewardship. From their stone-crushing beaks to their sand-producing bowels, from their ever-changing colors to their mucus-spun night shields, parrotfish are creatures of paradox and elegance, humble fish that build the foundations of island nations. 
So the next time you walk on soft white sand or gaze into a thriving coral reef, remember the parrotfish, a fish that doesn't just live in the sea, but one that builds it.